I'll tell you one area that a lot of Buffett investors don't trails. like is SPACs. And I do want to do a quick favor report here on uh, sort of an update on the uh, SPAC world. Brent Sanders, uh, Saunders, uh, Gary Cohn. Which we used to talk about so often for obvious reasons and obviously pointed out many of the inconsistencies uh, and uh, things that investors should be aware of when this sector, so to speak, was was very hot. That's not the case anymore. Now we've gotten to the point, interestingly, where even IPOs of SPACs uh, are being um, canceled. Uh, two MOLA SPAC SPACs, for example, uh, pulled their plan to go public. Now, by the way, plenty of companies are pulling plans to go public in this market environment. Given the volatility, you've seen it. We're not seeing the IPOs here that we typically have. No. Uh, and you got to go back to capital markets and what that's going to mean for some of the banks as well, if you want to do that, because it has been a very quiet few months. Bob Bassani has great numbers on really that typically quiet. as well. Uh, and SPACs have been a part of that. Too but quiet. some of the numbers are, are, are amazing. Uh, you know, you had... You have 83% um, uh, of 2022 IPOs were SPACs still this year. You can see it right there. 216 still to come. Look at that number of SPACs seeking a deal, Jim. 612 SPACs are out um, there looking for a deal. Of course, Jay Powell does not want them to so find So many of them are, unex are not expected to be able to actually be able to find a, a transaction you'd expect, given how many are looking. Uh, and that gets me to the next point, which I think is an important one. We're starting to see the calendar catch up with some of the SPACs. Remember, yes. they have two years. Yes. And if they don't God, do a deal good. by two years, they either can get an extension from their existing shareholders or they return the capital. In March, there's only four uh, SPAC expirations. April, four. But then things pick up. Then it Look really May, starts June, rolling, July, right? And then when we get into next year, it's really going to become well, David, a, a torrent of expirations. And you, maybe we get towards the end of this. You do wonder, Jim, whether there might be some opportunities out there for things that have just been beaten down as so many of these things SPACs have. buying other SPACs? What are you talking no, about? No, I'm just talking about an opportunity for some investment investors to find perhaps some opportunities within what is generally uh, no. a sector that I did a run of, of, of SPACs sector, that are I three and four sectors. dollars. Yeah. And I, I thought that some of them were worth like minus two. I'm not kidding. <laughs> They're burning cash so quickly. David, there are companies out there that should not be companies and companies that started too we early. Made that, we made that point time and again as I would look at the projections part because remember, unlike a typical IPO, they were able to offer projections and so often these yeah. projections were completely based on absolutely nothing. Well, these, are six, these, are ranked, these are 16 ranked teams. These are 16 ranked teams. They're number 16 and they're, they have to play number one. I mean, um, I got. But, uh, oh, but that's, just a sec. I got a good one. That's carnage there, as you can see. And that's the post back. That's after you've announced your deal. Uh, and what happens to you? Uh, nothing good. Uh, but anyway, did want to update people on that because well, I mean, we are okay, starting so three to see guys email uh, me. the funnel of SPACs coming public uh, dramatically narrow. What do you think? Oh, you listening to Gary Cohen the other day. SPAC has a lot of cash flow. He's doing yeah. that. Yeah. Scientific games, doing national yes. lotteries. No, that's interesting. He does buys lotteries and does it. I guess I don't know how much time he's spending at IBM. Now. I don't know either. I don't know either. Did you get a chance to find out? I should have asked. Yeah. My bad. Look at that. There's a chart for you. Okay. Okay, so you're Jay Powell. You, this is what you were trying to end, this easy money nonsense. Have you done it? What, wheels up? Have I done wheels up? What no, are you about? Have you done it in general? Have you ended the nonsense? I mean, we all know how these high multiple stocks have come down dramatically. But look already. at this. I'm telling you, Warby now, Parker, is, buy them Warby no Parker is, 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 is exhibit A in the, in the prosecution here. How about 23 in, uh, in you and me? That hasn't you seen gone, that one? That hasn't gone particularly How well. How about my favorite? None of them have. Sarah Fryer. Yeah, I knew you were going there. Right, don't pick on me. Yeah, not Sarah picking Fry on Sarah you. Fryer's been very rough. Wheels up, dude. Yeah, wheels up's been down. Wheels down. It had one moment. It had about 20 good minutes. There, were, no, there was a 30-day period. I think he was here. There was, a there was, capital here. There was 20 good minutes There was a 30-day period where the capital markets were exactly what Karl Marx said would happen. <laughs> what did he say, Jim? Well, you know, capitalism would destroy itself. Uh-huh. There it was.